What is up YouTube? I'm out here fishing the Surfside Jetty. We got pretty strong winds and uh, pretty murky water. However, we're using live shrimp. Targeted species is speckled trout, but I've heard that not many around, but if we can get them some specks with the side of sheep, I think we can have a good day using the live shrimp and the slip cork. So let's see if we can get them some fish. Got a fish. Hey, I got one. Uh, I don't know. What is it? I think it's a small sheepy. What is that? Oh, yeah, it's a sheepy. Not a big one. Trying out the twin power today, change it up from Stella. It's actually pretty decent, but I think I can land them here myself. Ugh. Man, I'm kind of... Dude, that's definitely a keeper, but I kind of want to catch some trout or something, dude. I'm tired of these sheeps, it, man. Dude, that's a good one. Wow. He's just not pulling, but he's, like, swimming around a lot. I'm not playing with him, I swear. If I, if I could get him in, I would, but... He's playing really tough here. All right, we're going to try to... I think he's done here. Yeah, he's done. Dude, that's a giant. Holy smokes. Oh, shoot. Uh, oh, wow. Dude, that's pretty big. That's like a good 16, 18 incher. I really wasn't like playing with him. I was trying to get him in, but he was fighting back. Yeah. That's good. Big. Dude, that's pretty big. This guy is 17, dude. 17? 17, yeah. yeah. Nice. Whoa. No way, dude. What? This is a... Balihu? Balihu? No way. That is so... What? Dude, my dad just got a Balihu, bro. What? Dude, I didn't know these fish were even here. That's crazy. Yeah, this is really, really good bait. Good bait, man. Yeah. Let me know down in the comments if you ever seen any, like, any of these here. Wow. It's beautiful. Yeah, well, he's definitely going to die because they're very fragile. Maybe we throw him out for bait. What? Got one. Oh, this is pretty big. Oh, this is good, dude. Hey, I'm gonna need the net, yeah. It's pretty good. I don't know what it is, but... Oh! Okay. All right. If you're used to my videos, I'll tell you this drag is different to the Stella, but that's a big fish right there. Oh, man. I think this is a big sheep, you guys. I don't think it's a trout. It's just a lot of head shakes. It, it doesn't feel like a trout. But if it is a trout, I haven't caught a trout in over a, a year. He's right on that rock. He's right on that rock, man. Oh, what is that, dude? No, I don't think so, but it's big. Big, man. Big sheepy. Big sheep's it. Man, he's staying down. Oh, dude, he's rubbing on those rocks. Oh, there we go. Whew. Man, that's another 18 incher, huh? That's good. Maybe. All right, let's see if these guys are keeper. He's close. I think he's been caught before. That's why he fought so hard. Oh, I think he's a keeper, guys. 16 and a half, yeah. Nice. All right, so I got these two keepers in like, I'd say 15 minutes. So I'm gonna talk about my setup so you guys can come out here because a lot of people are struggling and uh, it's really not that hard guys, so let's go talk about the setup. 
All right, so I'm using the spinning reel, whatever, uh, 15 pound, 12 pound Ashley Mono. And I got a really long leader, like I'm talking about three feet tied to the swivel, which then is attached to the slip cork. Now the slip corks, uh, I do sell these. You can find them in the link down below, but you don't have to use these slip corks. You can use any slip cork, and actually you don't even need slip corks. My dad's not fishing a slip cork. But I'd recommend the slip cork, especially when it's windy like this, you can really control your shrimp. And you want to put the shrimp in front of the fish, that's the key. You don't want it to just be like everywhere, right? So when it's, I'm fishing this leader this long, just because I wanted to try something different. You can fish it shorter, whatever you like, but it seems to this, this seems to be the key and let's see if we can get them more. Let's try to get a, a limit today. Oh man, that was a good one, dude. Shoot. so if you notice I made a cast like pretty leftwise just two reasons for that first of all it's a lot of freaking glare I can barely see and second of all the winds coming this way so basically what I'm doing is I'm walking down jetty letting my bait drift as I walk down so I'm starting over there well I started here now but I was starting over there now I moved down here a little bit just got a really big bite right here next to this rock See if we can get it to bite again. Usually these fish, they uh, they bite once and then they kind of swim around. We gotta look for them again. See what happens. No way, bro. As soon as I said that, and I hook up again, bro. This is heavy. Get the net. I think this is a... I think it's a sheep suit. Another big sheep suit. Oh, maybe not that big, but we'll see. You don't know with these fish. Oh, this rock looks sketchy. What are you, buddy? I'm pretty sure it's a sheepy. Yeah, oh, that's a good sheepson, man. That's my third keeper for sure. Right where I said he was going to be, because I had got a bite from him the first time. Look, this guy, this is just Stelman here. I'm, I can't pull him. He's not pulling. That's how you know when they're big. Pretty good, dude. Yeah. What's my dad doing, man? I need the net. Hey, I need the net. That's a good one. This is another 16 plus. For sure, he's very heavy. Yeah, I can't get a good look because of the freaking glare, man, but. Oh my gosh, dude. Guys, is he foul hooked? Yeah, he is. Oh my god, it's still big. Woo! <laughs> That's good, man. Another one, bro. Oh shoot, broke my line. God damn it, buddy. Now I gotta read that. Alright, let's see. I'm calling like 16. Another freaking good fish, man. Yeah, 16 and a half. Get my hook back here. Another sheepy on the live shrimp. You're not gonna get these guys on uh, artificial. Like this is literally impossible to catch an artificial, especially when they're this slow. So get yourself some live shrimp. Oh man, man, I got a big fish. My shoes are untied. Ugh. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> You're gonna have to get it. Oh, that's monster, bro. Huge trout. Yes. I need a pompon or something. They look really big. I need to tie my shoes quickly. All right, there we go. Sorry, guys. I had to tie my shoes. Big trout, man. Whoa. You want me to, you want me to grab the rod? Okay. There we go. So we can get a better angle on the fish. Monster, dude. You're going to have to go back, but that's a monster. Look at that, dude. Whoa. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> wow. Let me lower the drag a little bit. <sighs> Let's go. Woo. Bro. 
Oh my god, dude! That's what we're looking for. Holy crap! The camera. We gotta let it go quick, but we're gonna get a good video of this girl. Wow, man! Holy smokes, dude! Look at that. Let me get the pliers. Oh. That's a nice yeah, yeah. Oh no, here, here. Oh, dude. Yeah, he got it on the. That's, that's my leg, buddy. Yeah. He got it on the gills, man. Oh. But it still gotta go back. Can I keep it? No, you can't keep these. You oh. gotta let them go. There's no regulation. One over 20 no, one over 30. Monster trout. Oh, my dad got this fish. It's gonna die, but we're still gonna follow the regulations. Sometimes, actually, sometimes I've caught bass that have been. Dude! No way! Oh, I thought it was 26. 25? More, I think. What is there? 20, 25 and a half. 25 and a half, yeah. Wow! About the water. Yeah. Ah, yeah good, good video, good video. Monster fish, man. Let's let this guy go. All right, let's go. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. We're gonna have to throw this one in, okay? We're just gonna throw it in here. Wow, man. Good job, dude. Woo. YouTube, so it is the end of the day, and um, after my dad caught that big trout, buddy next to me caught one, but man, they're, they're big, but they're far and few in between, so it takes a while to get some. I really tried, I couldn't get mine. Maybe another day, but yeah, the sheepshead are here, but they're very, very few. So this year has been really bad for the sheepshead, but the trout have moved in really quick, and they have moved in pretty thick so i'm pretty sure we're gonna start seeing some more big trout make sure you follow the regulations let those big ones go and there's a lot of confusion so the regulation for the trout is three per person 15 to 20 one over 30. so if you catch one that's over 30 you can keep it legally but if you don't if it's not over 30 you gotta let it go however i think we're gonna after these big ones roll in usually the smaller ones come back so I'm pretty sure we're gonna see a few more big ones and then we're gonna start seeing the keepers and the ones you can take home. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give a like. Check out the slip cords. I'm gonna leave down the link down below. And thank you all for watching.